Welcome back to Gumball Gold. Happy winter to you. And in this video, I want to share my wintertime tricks to increase your gumball sales. And uh, it's so cold here in Oxford. We got snow and ice and I've been sitting at home for about a week now. Ran out of food. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a video to help you all out. I mean, it's so cold here. My nipples could cut diamonds. When I fart, I can see it. When I fart, there's snowflakes. It's so cold here, the weather app froze on my phone. And check out my neighbor. Got out of the driveway, but the tire's still spinning. It is cold here in Oxford. Y'all can Google it and see what we've been going through. You know, here in the South, we don't got your fancy salt machines shaking down on the road and everything. We're stuck here. <laughs> Until Mother Nature says otherwise. And just like y'all, I'm addicted to the collection videos. I watch them all. And it's frustrating as hell that people don't do what I'm about to tell you. I mean, they just keep filling up with the same product over and over. As soon as it gets low, two-thirds low, whatever. And... I'm not impressed with how much money they're collecting and what I have always done. And I thought what I'd share with y'all, it's like the watermelon review video I did a while back. It's one of my best sellers. And in the summertime or whatever, you know, I can get away with just selling watermelon gumballs in my triple heads. But the thing is the winter comes around and people aren't as cheerful and everything. You need to change it up. Okay, the employees at these locations, they need change. They're return customers. They want change. And I'm going to use the watermelon gumball as a perfect example of how to keep your revenue up or steady, you know, or increase it in the wintertime. Now, the watermelon gumball may be a favorite in the summertime. You know, it's summer. People love watermelon. But in the wintertime, I mix it with fancy fruit. That's right. Fancy fruit costs the same as you know, watermelon gumballs. And when it gets halfway down, two thirds down, just fill it up and mix it in with the water because the watermelon gumball is part of the fancy fruit mix. It's more attractive to the eye. It catches it. They look at it. And, oh, the gumballs actually look like fruit. Now, the name of the product, <laughs> I could do some criticism there. These people up in Canada, they're not great marketers. <laughs> I'll go into another video about that. They could increase sales with just you know changing a name. Now then, if you're selling gumballs at 50 cents a turn, like some of my machines, I recommend you mix with seedlings gumballs. Yeah, they're a bit more expensive, 53 something a case. But at 50 cents a turn, you're still making a great profit. And the watermelon gumball blends in perfectly. Nobody's the wiser but you and me. But I want you to comment down below what else y'all do to keep your sales the same or increase them in the winter time. And which one of these YouTubers or collection video drives what drives you crazy watching their collection videos? I mean the, they just, I'm um, pouring in more Skittles. It looks like it's getting low. Uh, the, uh, more peanut M&Ms. Uh, I don't care what you're selling. If it's the same thing for a year or more, it, it's time to do what I just told you. Change it up, change machine or something. It just doesn't cut this five twenty five a month collection video. Just comment down below if you agree with me. All right, thanks for watching. We back out reading the mail. Bye-bye.